There you are, dear Aiden. I've missed you. Likewise, Thalia. Albert seems pleased with today's haul. H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds, huh? You know, every day I wonder, are we at war? Nah, you can't be at war with animals. You're talking about the infected? Yeah, they're basically just rabid animals. All you have to do is not let them get you. <laughs> and that's not war. I suppose, but I guess I was thinking of the bigger picture. <laughs> the infected don't exist in a vacuum. I suppose. Here's what you need. Till next time? Yeah, till next time, Thalia. Weapon of the armory. This one's worn out. This war with the renegades makes no sense. Wait, don't. 
tell me. Ah, I am continually astounded by your tenacity and success. Let's see today's catch. Ah, Lewis Carroll truly captured the surreal feeling of disorientation, of falling into a strange world in Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. I often feel like I've fallen into another world, but sadly, this one is no Wonderland. Given the nature of H.P. Lovecraft's horrific creations, I suppose we should count ourselves lucky. What would we do if an old god suddenly awoke? Lovecraft excelled at creating a sense of dread, which made his stories all the more horrifying. I can relate to a persistent feeling of dread. Definitely. Thanks to you, this collection is already unparalleled in the city. Sadly, our sources are getting dry, and I have nothing new for you right now. But I am confident we will manage to dig up at least some more from the city. Just you watch. Wait for my call, Aiden.